Okay, we are back and doing some bad ideas. No Teller or Fu. Got it. Teller and Fu are out. Let's see. We have complete, complete the Giant of Babel. Get Sid. Defeat Luggage. Kinazo. Liberate Baron. He missed. And the Super Cannon. Those are our seven objectives for this seed. We have a Rydia start. Uh, we've got to do all of them to get the crystal, so we are going to fight Saromas today. Uh, it's Glassroom Giant, random six tough quest boss character, wreck all, win crystal. So we do have to do all of the things. That's probably fine. Probably fine. It is K-Main, Summon Moon, No Free, Unsafe Force Magma. Not K-Trap. I thought it was K-Trap. Yeah, no, it's just K-Main, Summon Moon. Okay. No Free, Unsafe. Cool. I don't know if we're about moon or subterranean trap chests. That's good. I can do some of them to grind, but that's fine. Peaky, uh, C standard, no free. Maybe distinct eight. Interesting. Uh, yeah, no telefu. Cecil and Edge are restricted, but are in the seed, potentially. Uh, J abilities, Neki, Perma, Join, Hero. So it's really a hero. We're all C Neki. We have to really commit to our characters. Oh boy. Uh, T wild max tier 5 junk. So basically it's T standard. With extra steps. I guess the... No, I don't think that even affects the trap chest rewards and stuff. It's just all unweighted. Which is good to know. Uh, S standard sell quarter. No J items. And they're unsafe. Great. So we're not going to get any star veils. That's fine. I mean, we'll have some in the kits, but... We don't get to buy them. That is fine. Basically, a standard so no J means that we are only buying the bare necessities. And we are leaving everything else alone. B standard, no free, unsafe, alt gauntlet. Uh, okay, Wyvern is going to Blark. That's exciting. E toggle, G life, and that's it. Uh, the trap kit, we get a trap kit and a freedom kit. No adamants, no cursed. Vanilla traps and giant. Okay, so we can loot around the trap chests at least. Not that that's super, super useful because it's all the same. But we don't have, we know where the trap chests are if we want to look for them. Which is good. Okay. I suppose let's get the seed started. With Riddy, Riddy has an awkward starting character. Uh, it means that I really. I kind of can't take... I kind of have to take a lot of partners. Oh, ew! You have a darkness crystal? No. No, Sid. It is Sea Hero. You are not the hero. You are therefore one of the worst characters I could take in the game. So no, I'm not taking Sid. Goodbye. Not with a starting darkness crystal. If we didn't start with access to an extra character, I might consider it, but no. I refuse. Sid is so bad on Sea Hero when he is not the hero. When he is the hero, it's fine. Like, he can do a work. But Sid on someone else's hero he is so bad. He's so slow compared to everyone else. And it is really rough trying to get him the gear that he needs to actually contribute well. Like, he's great to get through the early game, but he is so bad later on. It's ju he's just like, he falls off so quickly, and by the mid-game he's, like, useless. 
and he continues to be useless through the rest of the game, so it, it, it's not worth giving him a spot. I'm sorry, Sid, but no. No, I can't justify taking you. I really just can't justify it. Unless I absolutely need him to get through something, it's, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. I mean, Solo Redia can't really do a whole lot, which is why I am definitely relying on the Moon character a little bit here, but the fact that we got a Darkness Crystal means that I have an out from taking Sid for the entire game. Ugh, Sid, yeah. No, Sid is too slow. With a mage hero, you generally don't want to take anyone too much slower than your hero. Uh, with a zerker hero, it's usually fine-ish to take a couple mages, but like you want to mostly stick to zerkers. Mage hero, you're more okay taking. I mean, you're always okay taking zerkers. Uh, it's more okay to take mages. I mean, this isn't great, but I think I'm gonna take Yong. Yong is better than Sid long term. Uh, short term, he's not very good. But right around level 20 something, uh, Yong starts getting decent. At least. Plus, Yong doesn't need gear. Our gear situation is extremely limited. With uh, standard, essentially. And. Yong is fast. Ish. Yong will be faster than Radio, long term. So Yong's a pretty solid investment. I am willing to make the commitment to Yong. Other Zerkers are tricky, like Edge is probably a safe investment. Uh, Kane and Cecil are both tricky in this situation, just because I need kind of need a decent weapon for them to be good. Edge, we're, odds are we're going to be able to get a decent weapon. I guess with Cecil and Kane, we're, we're able to buy a decent weapon probably as well, so yeah. Now my goal is to get a little bit of basic loot, uh, which means that we're going to loot the, stand, the high density areas. We're going to get a lot of junk that I'm going to have to sell, but that's okay. Young here. I don't think I take second Young. He missed there is interesting. It is Kano free, I believe. So that's extra value there, but I think that D mist is not allowed to have underground access. Either that or it's not allowed. To, I forget what the rule is. I think that D mist isn't allowed to get underground access at that spot. I think that's what the rule is, just in case Golbez, Valor, Wyvern roll right behind that D-Mist. But yeah, we're gonna do a pretty good amount of looting of these area of the like general areas. Because I wanna I'm hoping mostly for armor, but uh, weapons are good too. If we can get J items, that's nice. Um things we don't need. Carrot, hand axe, antidote in the unicorn. No, we're gonna learn a Sora. Uh, well, we're not gonna learn it quite yet because the Hob summon might be a Sora. And I don't wanna waste the money. Next stop is Damsian. Uh, it's a pretty good, dense area of chests of treasures. We know where Demist is at least, so we don't have to peek that. We are gonna peek this for Doctor Luge or Kenazo. Nope, Karate is off the table. Good. Every chest is the same, so it doesn't matter where we loot really. As long as we're opening boxes. Eblin Castle is not actually that bad if I want to go there because of the vanilla traps. If it had non vanilla traps, it would be much worse.
Okay, that is really good. The MC Basement had the goods. I'm gonna finish looting that out. We have a full moon now if Edge shows up. Uh, most importantly, for me, for my purposes, I have a cat claw for Young and a black belt. Uh, both of those things are humongous. We're gonna give you a Gaia shirt. The Lilith Rod is good long term. That was a pretty decent roll for our Neki. Uh, Vampire is good. We are going to just raise the Hovercraft on here, just in case. I know it's Force Magma, but may as well. Darkness Crystal me does early does mean that our K Unsafe has a very good chance. There's a very good chance our K Unsafe hit and our Magma Key is on the moon. Uh, Demist makes it a little bit more likely, but could be down here, but not a lot. I think I feel good about trying this now with a uh, young that has a black belt and a cat claw. Because that's plus 10 strength. And I'm glad I didn't use my Asura orb. Because Asura was free. Now my Asura orb is money. Oh, yes, Dragon Whip. Good. Mallet, don't care about. Torpo, I'll keep, I guess. Cap, doesn't matter. Dragon Whip is really good. We probably will throw that on Rydia for the agility. But I think... I'm not sure, actually, if Yang or Rydia is doing to do... I think Yang still does more damage because Rydia is only level 1. We're probably going to want to take this character. Probably. I don't think I really want to take that character. I don't think I want the second young. Yet. C by is off, I believe. Okay. Dragon Whip here is going to do pretty good work. And Yong doesn't have an elemental claw, so he should actually be able to do decent damage. Rip Rydia. That's fine, Rydia gets levels no matter what. Yong, you just have to stop taking tons of pun tons of damage for punch. Rydia did a good 300 damage at the start of the fight though, which helps. Oh gosh, Yong may not make it. Oh yeah, we may not make it here. Yeah, we're not going to make it through that fight. That's okay. We're going to grab the Gaia hat again and leave. The Gaia hat's useful. I don't really need to get through this. Yeah, grab the Gaia hat, get off of hops. Gaia hat is useful. Okay. Um. Yeah, we can leave Yon there for a while. Do Antlion. Antlion's got a decent amount of loot in it. Uh, it is not C by as far as I can tell, so no. We can totally ditch Young and get him back. Okay! Um, cool. That is the answer to all our problems. Right there. That's the answer. Heron robe go burr. Uh, we are good. Heron robes solve so many problems and they're only tier five. So still available, even with the restricted booting. I am gonna be pretty thorough in my looting here. This is, you know, we might get, there's a pretty good chance we get something useful. In these denser areas are we on? I don't want to do too much more, probably. It's 
Especially now that we have a Heron Robe, the odds we get something really useful at this point are pretty low. Uh, Strength Ring would be nice, I guess, but it's not like there's anything that's like game-breaking at this point. For Fire Claw, whatever, Diamond Helmet, helmet whatever. We're going to take on the Antlion spot. We've got a Heron Robe Dragon with Brydia. Ready to destroy the CPU. That's fine. I would care about CPU, except uh, CPU is Rydia's back row. Like, Rydia does full damage from the back row. Okay, Yong, could you do a little more damage than that, please? No, right, that's in the back row. We'll leave the defender alive, actually, here, then. We'll take out the attacker, because I think we can afford to. Nope, okay, we're not taking out the attacker, because Rydia, I am mistargeted. And Rydia has just destroyed the defender. Boom, boom. You're not dead. Rydia is very fast, though. Okay, CPU is gone. Boom, attacker is gone. Great. Rydia, get levels, please. She needs to start getting power. We just need to get through something. So that's enough. Rydia's up to level 8 now. She can survive hits. Legend Sword? I mean, it's not progression, but I'll take it. It's not required for anything. Uh, could give me a Mist Whip, Mist Whip which is better than the Dragon Whip, uh, technically. Basically a Stardust Rod, if we can get the Adamant Rock as well and get underground, then we get a Stardust Rod for Rydia. That also does a lot of damage if we hit with it. So, useful for both Zerker Rydia and Caster Rydia. Doesn't have the Dragon Weakness, uh, hit the Dragon Weakness, but that's okay. I think I do want the Hobbs experience, so we are going to go back up Hobbs to just get that real quick. I'm going to use up the tent. Rydia needs the health. Um, yeah. And then, I guess after this I can probably go for Baron Inn. We're probably going to be strong enough for Baron Inn at that point. I still think giving Yong the accuracy is going to be better overall, although... Accurate are you? You're not very accurate. Never mind. Swap. Rydia needs the accuracy. We're not going to take extra Yongs yet. I don't. I have no interest in the second Yong. Not at this point. Uh, thank you, Rydia. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Get you four more levels. Get Yong a few more levels as well. Just get us a little bit stronger. That's why we did that. It also just sends that other Yong to the Tower of Wishes, so it's a little bit more convenient to recruit him later. Heron Robe Dragon with Brydia is pretty good. We can probably get away with quite a lot now. I'm gonna go do some shopping in Troya, because uh, there is two item shops here, and I want to be able to get some stuff. Not worried about weapon or armor shops, they are probably useless. I don't care about Cure 3s or Cure 1s. Not useful for me. Nope. Um, these shops have been completely useless. You can have my Asura Summon, though. I may as well make the 5,000 gold from that. Gold from that. You know? Let's head to Silvera. Actually, Kaipo. We'll go to Kaipo, then we'll go to Silvera. I'm just trying to check these shops aggressively now, because I want some basics before I do anything super tricky. Uh, yeah, we can check this. Uh, I should check the weapon armor shops too, actually. Uh, that's... Uh, Forum. That's Forum. Forum would be great. I would love Forum. 
I'm just trying to peek for Elemental Claws. Uh, we have Fire Claw already, but I would like Ice and Thunder. Thunder's a bit expensive, so I may not worry about it, but Ice I would like. Ah, uh, cabins are so expensive. Ugh. Well, you can have my Silver Hammers. I have already decided that Sid is taking a break. Uh, Whip Whip and Chain Whip can absolutely get out of here. Um, I kind of want Cure 2s actually as well. Yeah, we'll take the Cure 2s. I should not need anything from Armor Shops. Uh, since we're checking Weapon Shops, I'm going to go down here. I'm really only looking for an Ice Claw. It's not really that critical, but... May as well grab a few things. Dancing Dagger's not worth it. We have Dragon with Heron Rope. It's just not worth it. Still gonna not go back to Troya. I don't really care. Vexilvera. We have camping gear now. What else am I looking for? Extra life pots, I guess? Would be nice. It's really life pots and camping gear is all I need, so life pots would be really nice, but I may as well check Silvera. Silent Staff, again. Uh, Silent Staff is maybe worth using, well, definitely worth using against mage enemies, if we run into any mage enemies. Uh, Rydia can throw that on. At least until we get through Dwarf. Uh, having a Mute Knife would be nice. Worth selling a few things for, I think. Mute Knife is worth it. Definitely. Okay, you just have Tents. That's fine. Now I know Tents are in Silvera. We're gonna finish our shopping spree here, because I'm running out of stuff to... I'm running out of money. So I'm gonna need to go buy... Or go sell some... Or go sell some things, or find more loot. Find more loot, really. Watery Pass is too out of the way. We don't need to loot there. We'll beat Baron in, I think. Time for inefficient healing. I don't need the MP heal. I should not need the MP heal here. My strategy is go Burr. Right, I already looted the front of Baron. Just go in here. We're gonna send another Yong to the Tower of Wishes, which is fine. Good miss. Like, Yong, you should be able to do this now. You've got a black belt and a cat claw. Hey, Rydia. Let's demiss down. Octo, we should be fine. If we just hold A. I should be fine. We should be so outspeeding Octomam that Octomam will slow down so much by the time. We'll be too slow. To get a turn, I think. That's my. That's what I'm banking on. Not too slow to get a turn, but that's okay. Yong is still alive. And we're still doing lots of damage. We're doing like 500 around or so. 5, 600 around. Rydia is so strong. There we go, Octo's down. Easy peasy. No issues there at all. And you know, I'm not gonna complain about a Stardust Rod. Uh, that is pretty solid. That actually is probably worth equipping rather than the Dragon Whip. Send this Yong away. He can go hang out. I will probably fill my party up before we go to the moon, but I don't think I really want to fill it up any earlier. 
So that's that done. We'll do our deals into Fabul now. Uh, we'll check Demist first, and then we'll do our deals to Fabul. We did just kill a Demist. Yeah, Stardust Rod is probably going to do more damage as an item use, at least for now. It'll be worth swapping back to the Dragon Whip for dragons, but otherwise I think the Stardust Rod is more worthwhile. Uh, Baron. I guess we do Baron, because that's a character check. That sounds good. I will happily take any white mage that wants to join. So, poor Meridia. Um, other characters that are an instant yes for me right now. Edge is basically an instant yes. I think I... Did I... I'm having some Z-Bleed. No, I have Full Moon Short, which is good enough, honestly. Um, I kind of am still stuck for other characters. Like, I don't have good weapons for other characters. Cecil and Kane are tricky. I may not take them right away. Let's see what weapons and armor we have available here. I will buy the Ice Claw. Okay, nothing amazing. No super good weapons armor. I mean, we got the Ice Claw for Young just to make sure he has ice coverage. He doesn't have thunder coverage yet, but that's okay. It's too expensive to buy a Thunder Claw, so we'll probably just have to find one. Uh, bandana. Yong, actually. Because we're going to swap Rydia over to Stardust by default. Stardust Rod item usage does more damage than Dragon Whip. For most places. Maybe not the Baron Throne, because the Baron Throne has some MDef. But at least for the first check in here... Uh, Stardust Rod item is going to do more damage. Plus, if it's a split boss, the AoE is really nice. Iron Rope stays on for speed, because we need ready to go fast. But I don't actually care about her Wisdom stat. We're, we're equipping the Stardust Rod to use as an item in battle. I'm going to keep rooting pretty aggressively. Um... I don't think I need to go out of the way for that box, though. I'm not going to be, like, super, super aggressive at looting anymore. But we'll still loot a decent amount, just because I need more money. Or I would like more money. And maybe I'll get something useful. The Stardust Rod's really nice, though. Uh, we have been getting some good items. Baron Key, I mean, opens this up. Opened up <laughs> Baron Castle, which is nice. Uh, I believe Baron Basement still is not allowed to be our underground access, logically. So we're not going to find our Magma Key in Baron Basement. It can be on the moon, can't be in Baron Basement. I believe. Boom. I'm pretty sure the Stardust Rod is doing more damage here than she would with a Dragon Whip. Here we go. First phase down, let's start the second phase. Ideally, I have a Thunder Claw here, but I don't, so... But it's not a big deal. Uh, this spot doesn't have that much health. Gas missed. Now the real fight. Okay, Dr. Luge, whatever. You poisoned me, that's kind of annoying. Gas on Yong, a little annoying. But I'm hoping this Stardust Rod use kills. Yeah, it does. Good. Another level for each of them. Dr. Wu gaze down. Great. I legitimately did not remember he was here, but that's fine. That's the second objective completed. We do have to complete all of them, but our boss hunts are going quickly. And Liberate Baron is also an objective, so we're getting lots of objectives done. Uh, King Queen Eblin. Wonderful. Bosses are not free, but that doesn't matter because it's King Queen Eblin. Unfree bosses does not matter with King Queen Eblin. We're just gonna do this. King Eblin got all the magic defense. So we're not doing as much damage to King Eblin with the Stardust Rod, but we're doing damage, pretty decent damage to Queen Eblin here. 
And we're still getting some damage on King Eblin, and Yong, of course, can do the actual King Eblin slaying. Oh no, a spell! Fire 2's not that bad. Lydia, keep pestering them with the Stardust Rod. King Eblin has gone away. And that's Queen Eblin gone too. Great. Would have maybe been better to see them on the moon, but if we can get underground access without going to the moon, then that's fine. Rosa, yes! You are joining the party! <laughs> Join my party, Rosa. <laughs> that is the easiest character for me to accept into this party. By far. The, that's the, that's like, I don't even have to think about that one. Rosa's just in. Rat Tail doesn't give me anything, but we did liberate Baron Castle. I mean, we could get a hook somewhere. Okay, we still have Ordeals, we still have Fabul. So we're gonna go there, uh, go to Ordeals. Rosa is really quite good. We don't have a good bow for her yet. Uh, so I'm probably, ah, uh, uh, yeah, no, Great Bow is not gonna cut it. I'm sorry, Rosa. Great Bow, Great Bow does not cut it. You can have a Simon Staff, though. Um, Wizard... Wanna... No, Rydia really kind of needs the agility at this point. Rydia's still better. I think, for the Heron Robe. Dancing Dagger, not relevant at this point. Uh, we have a Sardust Rod. Sardust Rod is so much better than a Dancing Dagger. Wind Spear, that's money. I mean, I'd like to keep it because it's money, but... Well, we can throw that out, that out, that out. All those things will sell for basically nothing, so... No reason for me to keep any of those. We can almost certainly get through our deals with this party. Stardust Rod Radio that just outspeeds everything is pretty solid for most of this early game, for most of the overworld at least. And Yong is not terrible. Rosa will get levels and be fine. We've got Fabul experience still too, so I'm not worried. And then we'll probably... If I need to fill up my party, I'm probably just going to go more Yongs rather than go for Sid. If I need to go to the moon. Is this even randomized? Who am I wanting friends? Uh, your friends are gone immediately. Cause that's how that works. Rosa's got good whiz, so she'll she'll be able to handle healing. We didn't heal before coming up here at all. But Rose is so good at healing, like, it doesn't matter. She's got plenty of MP. Yep, just keep pestering Mylon. We'll go away. Yeah, you're not gonna hit hard at all. Yay, Stardust Rod. Goodbye, Mylon. Get out of my way. Let's get Rosa some levels. And Rudy and Young can have a level two. I'm gonna quickly heal up Young a little bit. Uh, we'll also heal Rosa up. Make sure that she's okay. We still have an emergency. We can cast an emergency Asura if I need to, which should heal everyone. Feigen would be bad if we didn't have Stardust Rod. Is 
Stardust Rod solves a lot of problems, and Vigan is definitely one of them. Vigan will never have arms. This whole fight. <laughs> because Stardust Rod. And we can keep waving the Stardust Rod at him. Do damage as well. Like, oh no, I'm getting walls put on my characters. Rosa, that was a pretty solid hit. Bang. Good hit, Rosa. Yep, you recovered your arms. Oh no. Anyway, they're gone again. Goodbye, Bygen. Uh, you were not very impressive. Rydia does have to do this hero fight by herself, but I honestly don't think I'm scared of the hero fight. With a heroine robe, I don't think the hero fight is scary at all, no matter who's in here. I, I legitimately don't think it matters. I think she just wins. Like, she can win this fight in two turns. No matter what. And if it's Wyvern, she can win it in one. Because I still have my Dragon Whip. Let's see what's on ordeals. This will turn Cecil into a Paladin, I guess. Uh, Murasame, so Edge is even better now. Uh, if you're the Gauntlet, that's okay, honestly. Are you the Gauntlet or are you the Water Hag? Still, should just be two Stardust Rods. That would have been fine, because Rhea can Stardust Rod her way through that, too. Rhea is so good. Stardust Rod, Heron Robe combo? Amazing. 10 out of 10. Rhea doesn't need any actual stats, she just needs a Stardust Rod and a Heron Robe, and she can destroy everything. Bye, Water Hag. You're not free. But now you're gone. Bunchy Boss eliminated. Still no progression, which is fine. And we do know that it, our progression could very well be behind a moon boss. Which would mean, which would be interesting to try and get through. We'd probably have to do some Eblin castle chests to get some levels, or hair dryers. Hair dryers, definitely. We do hair dryers. I have hourglasses. We absolutely just tear through hair dryers. Uh, with Rydia casting, start using the Stardust Rod over and over again. If I need to get levels for the moon, I'd probably just do hair dryers. Or buy a lot of life pots and do some behemoths. Those are my options, realistically. I think hair dryers is better, better uh, for the first little bit. And then we should be fine. Like, I'll, I can swap the heron robe over to, or, over to Rosa, and then we should be good to go. As far as, uh... Moon fights are concerned. We should be able to deal with it. If we're, once we get Rosa to blink. That's the real thing, is I need Rosa to get blink. Uh, it might be worth seeing... Um... Stardust Rod will take out... Maybe... The Black Cats. And the Black Cat Lamia chest. I mean, this is a really easy fight. Hey, Antlion. Uh, good to see you here, and not in your natural habitat. Thank you. Thank you very much for not being in your natural habitat. Hmm. Yeah, Antlion should be dead now. Yeah, there we go. Give me that 5,000 experience, please. Couple of levels across the board. Great. Rose is getting there. She does need a bit more experience just because we didn't get her early enough. An apple. Okay. 
So we are going underground. What can I get rid of? I don't want to ditch any more because we, I want to sell some things. I'm going to go to the shop and just sell stuff. I Do I want to get rid of the apple? I don't know that I want to get rid of the apple. I might want the apple. Uh, we probably don't need the short sword anymore. With, what of, with what's in my inventory. I definitely don't need the short bow. That I'm holding on to. What else can I ditch? Flame rod, probably bad. Asura summon, definitely don't need. Black sword is completely useless at this point. Do I want to buy Sylph? Sylph glitch is off, but Sylph is still quite useful. Especially since we're going to be pivoting Rydia away from Heroin Robe. Might be worth selling some stuff to get Sylph. Dagger. Yeah. Gonna, we have another weapon in here, right? Yeah, we've got an Overax in here. Okay. I, d I didn't want it to like to sell my only Cecil Kane weapon, but let's do it. Screw it. We're buying Sylph. Sylph is super good. Sylph is actually just ridiculously good. And it's worth 30,000 that we're spending. Even at this point. I would like to get Rosa to blink. But I think hair dryers are going to be enough, so we're going to do hair dryers. So actually, we want Rosa to, uh, Rydia still heroin rogue for this, I think. Yeah. I think I just want to hair dryer these three. And then grab a couple extra yongs. For, uh... Insurance. Uh, do I really want three Youngs in my party? It kind of gets awkward. Because then I basically have... Yeah, no, it's fine. It's not like I'm... I mean, Rydia's my anchor no matter where she is, so we can put her in, like, slot four or five or something. We can put Rydia and Rosa in four and five and just have the Youngs in the front. That could work. Three Youngs for Zeromus isn't a terrible idea, especially if we get more black belts. Odin. Uh, new strategy. Uh, nope. Well, I guess that's fine. New strategy. I don't think... Actually, I think these guys are new to Odin. But that will get me through other trap chests up here. So it's worth it. Yeah, never mind. Those guys are immune to Odin. Or these guys are, I think. Not confident. I guess Brady is in the middle slot, so we can try it anyway, but... We're gonna use one of my hourglasses here. Just don't kill Rydia. Good. Boom. That was supposed to go on Rosa, but that's okay. My up inputs are getting dropped. Uh, we're gonna try Odin. Heck yeah! Boom! Go away! Go away, hair dryers! You're dead. Give me lots of experience. Four levels for Rydia, six levels for Rosa, which should be just enough for Blink, and four levels for Yon. 
Great. Okay, Rose's got Blink. We get a lightsaber, which means Cecil could be useful in the long run. Wasn't a super good trap chest, but that's okay. We did it. We got through it. We're going to check Cave Bahamut. Because Cave Bahamut is maybe, maybe not terrible. How do I feel about finishing the moon with three characters? I'm trying to gauge... Like, do I want to do this, or should I just get extra characters? Look at the boss. The second Herald Road might be nice, but I think we probably are going to give it my depending on who I see here. You are honestly kind of fine if I'm willing to use a Starveil here. Now you take a long time. You take a really long time. That's not pleasant. It's doable, but really unpleasant. That's how I'm going to rank that goal as. Doable, but very, very unpleasant. And having extra characters does not do anything there. The trouble, the real trouble is that the stabels don't do enough damage there to actually be meaningful. And so I have to put out a lot of damage, and I don't have a good damage up. I don't really have good damage up, but other than maybe the Sylph Summon. I can maybe get Sylph to start doing like 1500, but that's that's not going to cut it for Golbez. Bef especially not before the Star Veil wears off, certainly. I can always do some more trap chests on the overworld to get some more gear. I can always go to Baron Basement and see what's there, because it is a check, it's not a it's not logical for underground access, so my underground access shouldn't be there. Shouldn't. But it is a check. Yeah, Golbez is really unpleasant. For this team. I'm hoping for something I can blink my way through. That's going to be really unpleasant for this team. Uh, we're not going to try Odin again. There is basically no chance that I get through Odin. On the moon. There's no way I'm surviving the Zantetsukin. Uh, that, that's just not happening. And I don't have a Thunderclaw, so there's no way I'm getting the da- I mean, even if I did have a Thunderclaw at these levels, there's no way I'm getting the damage out that I would need. Even with, like, the Blitz Whip that I have, or could have in Cape Bahamut, it's not, it's not gonna happen. If I find something that I can reasonably blink my way through, then we will try it. But otherwise, we're just kind of seeing what my options are. And if I can get through a boss, then that's a bunch of experience that I get, which is good. Should I have taken the youngs before coming here? Maybe. Giant of Babel can wait till whenever. Like, I can leave Giant of Babel off till the end of the seed. There's no progression in there. Uh, with Demist found, there's no progression. I can... I mean, Kainazo could be in there, but that's the only thing... Other thing that I care about. Or, and Sid could be in there, I guess. But once I find the tower... Like, once I get underground and I find the tower key, I guess I'll do it, but I'm not going to prioritize it before then. Because it does not matter. Oh, uh, this is really gross. I 
How much damage is this gonna do? Yeah, no. No, we're not doing with that. We're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with that damage. That's not a blinkable boss. Ribbon run. No. No. <laughs> that is a very easy... Oh! Actually. Self is probably enough. 29 agility to 14. Hmm. Not RA1. Gonna have to be okay though. Plague Spot is interesting magic. It's not consistently low or high, is how that works. The Plague Spot does not behave nor- it doesn't have a magic stat in vanilla. So... Nope, we're, we're not gonna do this. That- that's gross. So Golbez will not do any damage there, because basically the way the Plague Spot works is it scales the magic based on... the magic... it scales based on level difference from the original spot. So if a boss is is at a fairly high magic spot for its level in the vanilla game, then that boss has high magic. So Maga Sisters have pretty high, pretty, are pretty early, especially the early game bosses especially, generally will have pretty high magic. There. Later game bosses like Golbez uh, will not. Okay. This is free. Um, I'm gonna reset my set- I'm gonna readjust my setup. Well, I don't have wall, so no, that's not free. I can't stop Asura from healing herself, I don't think. I don't think I can stop that there. Hmm... Maybe I can get through Asura? Asura is, like, not terrible. Comparatively. Compared to the rest of this moon, Asura is pretty friendly. Right now, Asura is probably my one of my top candidates. Uh, not viable because you can't life lock consistently at RA1. If Asura is RA1, uh, you can't life lock consistently. And right now, I think Asura is RA1 or would be RA1. No. No, that one is not happening. That is that is just actually impossible. Until we get a lot of levels. So, how do I get a lot of levels? Easily. Wanna fish gold dragons? That might be my best option. Yeah. I think that is my best option. We go back to LST4 and look for gold dragons. Use my last two hourglasses on gold dragon encounters. Uh, which we then destroy with... Oh wait, no, we should swap that back. We destroy with Harem Rogue Dragon with Gridia. I have Heron Rogue Dragon with Radio. So we do that. And then we go for the Behemoths.
Nope, not warlocks. I am not using anything. I'm not wasting my. I could do warlocks actually. I do have mute bells. As well. This is what I wanted. That's fine. We're gonna get levels. Gosh dang it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get the levels. Great. You're asleep. Rydia does 3,000 damage. That's what I wanted. Okay, that's not enough. One more hit on that one should do it. Nope, hit the other one. Okay. Nope. I want to make sure I get the life glitch. No, wow. Okay, now I think one hit on either would do it. Okay, life one. Good. Boom. Give me this life glitch. I do not want to miss the life glitches here. 90,000 experience. Give me these levels. Let's get levels. I'm trying to level up for wall. That's what I want to get. Which is probably only one more gold dragon fight, honestly. You know, I have a siren. We can save the trouble of me having to do any looking if I use that. And honestly, it's probably worth using now. I could have more characters if I wanted to, but I don't like the characters that are available. So we're just going to go with three for now, because this is really all I need. I'll fill my party up later, and we'll get experience on them. Like, I'll just do a slingshot on them with the giant, probably. But for now, I just am trying to get my footing. We're going to use the siren. The one siren that I have. And the last hourglass I have. They don't work on bosses anyway. Ow. That hurt a lot. Hey, Rydia. You're up. Two hits. One more hit should probably kill it. Nope. Okay, one hit. No. No. Waiting. Good. Okay, we got the life one. That's important. Gotta get these, this experience. We need the experience. Desperately. Give me this experience. Another 90,000. Four levels. There's Psyche. Four levels for Rosa. That should be Float and Wall. Good. Okay. Rosa's got us enough levels that we can now take on... Asura, we're going to prep you with... this. You'll be fine with that. We will have to blink everyone before we get any zerking going. But that's okay. Asura is reasonable to do. I'm gonna heal up. And we can take on Asura. Asura is the easiest of these bosses. Next easiest is probably Golbez with Wall. Golbez is probably fine. Okay, I think we're ready. We're all in the front row, which is good. 
Because Rydia, back row glitch is off, and Rydia needs to be able to hit with this silent staff. Asura, it doesn't matter what Asura does at the beginning of this fight. It does not matter. We're going to start getting blink by getting blinks up on everyone. Yeah, Asura, you can do that. Uh, Rydia, just parry. Bear. We're going to use bear. Boost Yang's defense while we're waiting. It's more useful than parrying here, because we know we're not about to get hit. Blink. Bear. Bear is mostly a just-in-case Yang's blink wears off, it's just nice to give him a little bit of extra defense. You know, I may as well use it. Kind of situation. Blink, Yang. Also, Yang, use bear. Just in case. Now, next step is to cast Wall. On you. No more heals. It's a good thing. I'm gonna hold back on the Berserks. We're just gonna go for regular hits, because we're gonna need to blink pretty aggressively here. For four, doesn't matter. Okay, fine. Here's another 2,000 damage. We've done, like, we're doing 3,500. That's 5,500 damage done so far, I believe. Uh, we'll power punch here, because I think Yong can get the kick off in, or Rose can get the blink off in time, I hope. Nope. Go for it, Rydia. You fall over, it's okay. Good. Blink Rydia over Yong. More important. Rydia's more important. She's doing more damage. We've done 7,500 damage. Now. Okay, we'll call that 9,000 damage. We need to get to 16,000 before this wall wears off. Wall is still up, good. Okay. Yong is fine. We'll blink him. Wall is gone. Oh god. We need to keep you stopped in life one. Oh no. Heck. That was a full heal. We definitely did not have enough damage done. Heck and wall fell off. Stop it. You know what, since that was a full heal, I'm just gonna reset. Uh, just get my MP back. Because we lost a bunch of MP on that. Wall only lasts for 30 ticks. It actually might be... Mm, no, I want the Heron Rope for the strength. Ah, oh, I hate this. I hate this. Uh, I kind of want to keep Rydia slow so that we get more ticks in on the... Like, the wall lasts longer, effectively. Or it lasts for more of our turns, but... Ugh. Yeah, there's no good way to do this. Let's say Rosa be the attacker. That's like my only option, really. You bear. Need blinks on everyone. Like, I can't even let a cure 3 go off. 
Nope, I meant bear. That's fine. Berry is also okay. We need all the blinks up before we can even start doing damage. That's crucial. Because I cannot survive a hit on those two. We're going to try going for some damage here before the wall goes up. 3,000 damage, like, that was 2,500 damage before the wall goes up. That's fine. And we get a life one, so that stays. And now the wall is up. Now we're going to start the wall timer. We have 30 ticks. We've done 4,000 damage already. We need to get to 16. Like, we absolutely need to get to 16,000 damage. Okay, that's 6,000 at least. A bit more than 6,000. Rosa, you need to blink yourself. That's fine. Wall is still up. Good. Now I'm going to start charging up another power punch. That's 6,000 damage done already. Get, that, get us to 8, Rydia. Thank you. Young needs a blink now. That's 10,000 damage. Okay. We just need 6,000 more, and then we are safe. From Cure 4, at least. We need to... I would like to keep the wall up, but we're safe from Cure 4. Which is still a big deal. Okay, good. You did not heal yourself. Keep going. Okay, that's 6,000. Or that's... Just need one more. Okay, life one. Lands. I need to blink there. Hit. If this hit fires before the cure three fires... We're good. Brick. Okay, we need the wall up. That's okay, it wasn't a cure 4. We didn't lose all our progress, we just lost the 4,000 damage. I have to risk it here. Uh, we cannot keep getting cure 3s. They are too strong. We're gonna have to risk Rose's life here. Life 1 is good. Okay. Walled again. No more healing for a little bit. We did lose 8,000 damage, though. But we've got to make that back up for a bit. Bad. Very bad. That is very bad. I'm actually going to hold back with Rydia. Just to make sure we get our blinks up. Thank you. Okay. Can you blink yourself? You get a chance. Good, you will. Pretty doesn't matter. Okay, we're blinking Rosa to keep her alive. Good. I think we're back. I think we're... We've undone the damage that was done. That was healed. I think. Or we're very close to doing that. That should be broken. That should have been a broken cure for. But I think we did. I think we made it. So now I'm going to prioritize our blinks. Because I'm pretty sure these cure fours are broken. Based on the fact that that cure four it had a number that wasn't zero, or that cure four was that first cure four was broken, definitely. So the cure fours are not healing anything right now. Cure threes are still bad. So we need to try and undo that 3,500 damage very quickly, but I think we can. I'm gonna just go for wall. I'm gonna re-up the wall here. Make sure that the cure four can't screw me over. Revive Yong. Just take a little break. Revive Yong. Cure three, whatever. 
if one doesn't matter. Just wanted to make sure that Rosa wasn't about to get hit. Yeah, Rosa's safe. Yeah. Okay, we should be fine. We should be in a space where, Rudy, where Asura's not going to heal back up. We just got to keep doing damage, though. We're going to keep Rydia alive as a priority, because Rydia's important. And if Young gets healed, then he doesn't need a blink. Immediately. This is really rough, though. There is a point, once we get past 32,000, where we'll have to just rush the last 5,000 before a Cure 4 can fire. But that's probably going to be fine. Yeah, let's get the blink up. The wall is down, which is not the end of the world, because we're still in that middle range of HP where Cure 4 can't work, doesn't work. It's like, I would like to get the wall back up, but I'm going to prioritize keeping blinks up. I think. Uh, Cure 3 is bad, but we were far enough in that I think we're okay. Yeah, Life 1 doesn't do anything. Blink. We do need to get the wall back up, though. Kind of urgently. I'm gonna go for it now. Yeah, we'll go for it now. That cure 4 should be broken. That should not have been a real cure 4. We're gonna give... Get the wall back up. We need to toss another life pot. This life 1 will never hit. yourself. Okay, Yong is up. Rosa will be blinked, so she won't fall down. Rosa's running out of MP, which is fun. We definitely needed the M all the MP. Okay, another 2,000. Thank you for not hitting Yong. We can't keep walling forever. Okay, Yong is safe. Good. Another two. And Asura is gone. We did it. We beat Asura. <laughs> that took forever, but we got through. That is a Purim, if I want her. Uh, that's probably worth grabbing right now, honestly. Uh, maybe after Golbez. Actually, yeah, probably after Golbez. Um, time to work a lot. Because none of the rest of this bottom of the moon is doable at all. But Corum is going to be huge. Having a second white mage is amazing. Apologize for this beginning of this track being terrible to listen to. This is warping out of the lunar subterrain. 
think we can warp anymore. Once we get to this screen. Uh, but yeah. That Sandruby is huge because that's a really good character. For, for our team. That's a second white mage, and I think we need a second white mage. Um, we may want to give one of the white mages a heron rogue. We do have silent staffs for both of them, which is nice. Plenty of silent staffs to go around. But yeah, I really like this character. I want I want her in my party. And we're gonna get her some levels. Uh, I should have done Golbez first, actually. Hmm... We can still do Golbez first. Yeah, we're gonna do Golbez first. Because Golbez is better when there's only three characters. As opposed to having four. Like, there's no advantage to taking a fourth character here. Give me a full heal, please. Uh, we have wall. Getting wall is, humong is huge because it means that I can sit conserve my star veils for uh, a wyvern. And I don't have to deal with that anymore. Do I have a fire claw? I do have a fire claw. Good. Equip that. We can stay all in the front row here because it does not matter for Golbez. Uh, Golbez does not use physical attacks, therefore we do not need to be in the back row whatsoever. We can probably tank some spells here, honestly, so what I might do is Zerk Yong before I... Uh, yeah. We might end up Zerking Yong here before I let him... Over. And I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch uh, over the to the heron rope because Rydia's gonna want to do sylph. I don't want to cast sylph like eleven times. We have eleven sylph casts. That's gonna be pretty solid. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get hulled. Oh wait, Rosa's not going to get held. That's really good. Yes, I want Rosa not held. Ideally, I want Rosa alive. At the end of the, uh, I want Rosa to be one of the two that survives. Because if she can cast Wall immediately, that's huge. On herself. Really. Rosa's MP here is going to be one Zerk on Yang and then just Walls. To keep everyone else alive. Who's going down? Please choose Yang or Rydia. Okay, I will allow Rydia to go down. That is fine. And we'll probably revive her with a life spell rather than a... Uh, life pot, because I'm low on life pots. I mean, I can buy more, but... I just want to make sure I don't run out. Boom. Wall on Rosa. Cue up that Berserk. I definitely want Berserk on Yang. Yang go burr. He's got a Cat Claw and a Fire Claw. Wall. We're gonna wall Yang. Rydia is my hero, so it does not matter if she lives or dies. I will try to get her back up, but... Yeah, Yang is gonna tear through this Golbez by himself. And the spell... And we're just gonna repel the spells, because I don't want to take them. But yeah, Yong's doing 3,500 3, damage a round. This is great. Rydia, you can get up now. Good. We chose a bad target. Wall Rydia. Boom. Rydia's safe. Yong is still going burr. Oh, Golbez. Golbez is really easy, as it turns out, once we have wall. But I figured I'd do a Sura while I was down there. Boom. Maybe I should have brought Porim here. Meh. It's fine. Your wall is gone? Already? Oh my god. Okay, we need walls back up.
Yongs is not. Thank goodness. Jeez, that wall did not last long. Boom. Rose is safe. Yong is still beating up Golbez aggressively. Rydia's wall is fine because she got her wall up much later. Yeah, Rydia get Rosa some HP, so maybe she can survive a spell. Also, she's doing damage, so I'll take it. And that's it. That's Golbez gone. Goodbye, Golbez. Get out of here. This is another check for our magma key as well, which is potentially good. Come on, please. Dang it. Dang it, Moon. Why? Okay, that's done. Um. So it's down to Odin, Maga Sisters, which aren't Maga Sisters aren't the worst, I guess, with her own robe, Silent Staff. They're not terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. But we're down to Odin, Maga Sisters, Ogo, or DKC. Uh, three of those are really, really bad. Three of those bosses are just complete garbage. And our underground access is behind one of the four. I'm really hoping it's behind the Maga Sisters. Because Ogo, Odin, and DKC are all really, really bad unless I can get a Thunderclaw. And then Odin is maybe okay. Not good. Maybe okay. It's not like we have permadeath, I guess. No, you don't have a Thunderclaw here. Um, I don't think I've seen a Thunderclaw. I mean, I don't think I checked Agar. We are going to take this Purim. We are going to let Purim join the party. Because uh, I do want to have a fourth character in my party. And I think an extra white mage could be very useful. Forum will get levels, it'll be fine. Okay, what where could a Thunderclaw be? I didn't check Aggard Shop. Kinda of want a Thunderclaw. I don't really want a Thunderclaw. Like, a Thunderclaw would be huge for Odin. Otherwise, I don't really need it, but for Odin, it would be so good. Uh, is it worth checking Odin's spot? It might be. That, that might be a decent source of a little bit of experience for, for him. And there might be a key item there that leads me towards a hook or something. None of that is useful. Yeah. We'll be fine. No Thunderclaws. I'm sad. Nope, Aggro Shop is complete garbage. Okay. Well. All my shops are terrible. I don't think I took Troy a weapon, actually. Troy a weapon. We did item shops and then left the weapon and armor behind. And now that I have real money, I would very much like a Thunderclaw. If the game could give me a Thunderclaw, that would be great. All I'm asking for. No, that was not a Thunderclaw. Nope. Troy had nothing. Don't have exit yet on Corum. Um, I do have three mute bells. 
We could probably take on Evelyn Castle, get some levels for Purim and some gear. I think that's probably worth doing, just for the experience alone. Already into the back row, she doesn't need to be in the front. Rosa can be in the front because she's going to go bonk against the Mad Ogres. Right, it's Vanilla Traps. I don't need to look for anything other than the Vanilla Traps. I might open some boxes to see if there's a Thunderclaw in one of them, but otherwise we're just going to go straight for the Vanilla Traps. No, not for him. Leave her alone. Okay, thank you. Rydia's gonna heal Porum up, so we're fine. Thank you, Rydia, for giving Porum back her health. And doing way too much damage to that stale man, my goodness. Okay, this should wipe out most of the skulls. One of the skulls. Stale man is gone. Uh, we just need... A little bit more healing. One more cure 3 should do it. Boom. Goodbye skulls. Six levels for Purim. She definitely needs these. You need to get Blink at the very least. A life staff is huge. Huge. Good. That's very good. We shouldn't need an exit for exits because we're going to get an exit. I will keep the Zeus Rage. Absolutely. Odin. That has Odin's name on it. That Zeus Rage is definitely going to get thrown at Odin for some damage. And I will loot Evelyn Castle just to see if there's a Thunderclaw in here, and we may as well. Don't need heavy armor. Does not matter. I will absolutely take a second heroin robe. Yes! Let's make Porum really fast, too. She needs to be really fast. Dungnir will keep. Samurai arrows will keep. By Darkness Helmet. Yes, second Heron Robe is very good. More agility, more big agility manip for my party. Always. Yeah, make, make more of my characters faster. Because if Porum can be fast, then we have two fast blink casters, which is pretty solid. Hey, Commander Leonhardt, welcome all in, folks from that, folks from his stream. I am currently engaging in some bad ideas. Uh, just Berserk Yon? We are currently getting levels in Eblin Castle uh, for Porum, because Porum joined the party a little late. Nine nine percenters was interesting this week for sure. I don't know that you get that life cast off. No, you do not. That makes me sad. Oh well, Forum's not going to get all the experience here. Uh, this seed so far has already featured me going to the moon and killing Asura at the Masa altar with a party that barely knew Wall uh, and a silent staff. Ooh, good, another cat claw. That is definitely worth keeping. I I, ha I had to bonk an Asura a a on the moon to death with a silent staff to get Purim. That is where this seed has been already. 
We are now back on the blue planet trying to power pour him up because I don't want to do any of these bosses on the moon until Porum has some power. In other news, Rosa is really strong. There's exit for Porum, good. She still needs more levels for Blink Berserk. Uh, but that's something. That's a start. Um, I've already done Hairdryer's Chest. I've already... I haven't done any of the Behemoths, actually. I should do those. But I think what I'm going to do instead... We're going to take a stab at Baron Basement. K unsafe is on, uh, so my underground access can't be here. Uh, B unsafe is not on. This is not going to be my underground access. My underground access is behind one of four bosses on the moon. Actually, no, it's behind one of three. B unsafe is off. My underground access can't be behind DKC at the Crystal Sword Altar. Heck yeah! Because it's B no free. So underground access is not allowed to be behind that DKC. Oh good, a gauntlet. I mean, sure. Is B unsafe on? Maybe it is on. I don't remember. If it's on, that's really annoying. Although if it's on, that means this could be my go mode. So I'm kind of okay with it. It is be unsafe. That means this could get me underground. So we should definitely do this. This is much friendlier than any of the moon bosses that are left. Uh, the remaining moon bosses are Odin at Asura, or Odin at Mura, um, DKC at Crystal Sword, which just no. I I I don't want to deal with DKC at Crystal Sword. Uh, what else is left? Magus Sisters at White Spear and Ogle at Ribbon. Those are my potential routes underground. So we're just going to go through this gauntlet, get Porum some extra levels. I can- there are some other characters I could take, but it's Permajoin, and all of them are Yongs and Sids. So... I am not particularly interested in taking any of the extra characters. And yeah, that's my situation right now. More experience, yay. Porum, two more levels, please. Okay, Porum has Blink now. That's as far as I really need her to get. Extra levels are just nice at this point. You. How do I want to deal with you? Oh, I know exactly how I want to deal with you. Uh, stop. Because you hurt. I am bad at reading the flags, apparently. The unsafe is on. But that does mean that this is logically allowed to be underground. So I'm okay with it. If it means I can get out of going through the hook route by doing this, yes. I will, I'll take it. Or you should just berserk someone.
Yeah, just Berserk Young. Not worth you doing anything else, just make Young go Burr. Rosa can actually hit. Goodbye, Clapper. More levels. Cool. There's another fight here. Alright. Forgot we have one more Clapper to deal with. Now. You have no MP. That's fun. You stop it. Thank you for missing your blitz. That was very nice of you. Now go away. Well, I guess that's a thing. No, I ignored Baron Basement because I didn't have the levels to do it. Uh, Sandruby was on the moon though. So we came back from the moon to get the Sandruby character. Which was Porum. Who I think is worth it. Nah, yeah, we're not gonna hold that. Not gonna hold on to that. Um. Yeah, best option is. Maga Sisters right now. So we're gonna go for the Maga Sisters. Because they are the only option that isn't completely awful. I should probably also pull Rosa to the back row for Maga Sisters. No, Rosa has Heron Rope Silent Staff. Never mind. Rosa is my primary damage dealer for Maga Sisters. Right. For Maga Sisters, Rosa can stay in the front. Uh, for... Ogo will pull her to the back, because Ogo is... Baron Basement is be unsafe. Gated. It's always be unsafe. But be unsafe is on, so it could have been underground. In normal safety checks, Baron Basement will not be required to get underground. But we have both K unsafe and be unsafe. K unsafe is Moon, uh, B unsafe is Baron Basement and the bosses. Uh, we don't need to save right now, actually. We can just go straight down. We're gonna save at the lower spot. Uh, cause we're not taking Odin without a Thunderclaw. Why has there not been a Thunderclaw in this seed? I am genuinely confused as to why there has not been a Thunderclaw in this seed yet. And I really don't think Yong can do enough damage to get through Odin. Without a Thunderclaw. With a Thunderclaw, we would be totally fine. I could Zerk Yong, blink him up, try and keep everyone else alive, get through Odin no problem. But without a Thunderclaw, that's not happening. So we're going to do Maga Sisters and Ogo on this dive. Ogo is Ribbon Room, so there's two items there, and Maga Sisters have an item as well. Uh, they are somewhat reasonable to do at this point. Uh, Rosa will probably hold, will definitely hold back versus Ogo. Ogo is just going to be Yong going Burr for damage. And everyone else is going to be blinking and healing. Uh, Rydia might be able to th do some selfing, but I'm not sure it's worth it with our HP totals. DKC is maybe doable? I 
think Rosa and Young have enough health to survive. But it's not pleasant. At all. And I'd want to get Young berserked and then have to spam Cure 4 for the rest of the fight, basically. We're going to go for Maga Sisters first. Rosa can stay in the front row for Maga Sisters. I'm actually going to give her the middle slot for Maga Sisters. Because we're going to need Rosa to do damage. Here. We're going to Zerk Rosa. Uh, against the Maga Sisters, because she's got... She's got a silent staff. It's not really worth blinking anyone here. Seven hundred damage is not that bad. This could hurt. Yeah, that hurts. Rosa Gober. Uh, we need Porum to revive Rydia, like, right now. Okay, Mindy's dead. Never mind. We are somewhat okay. As long as Porum isn't targeted. We're going to swap Porum to the Life Staff that I picked up. So that she can actually revive people. And heal properly. Yong and Rosa are doing great damage. Uh, we're going to pop Rydia up just to be an extra target. I don't actually care about her survival. Really? She's here mostly for extra target. Well, uh, I guess I'm not healing you. Uh, Yong, you are almost dead. Let's steal some HP. Good Sylph. Just try and get some healing going. This cure 2 is going to be wasted. Dang it, we healed you 200 hit points. Whatever. That's already gone by, because of Sylph. Which will also make sure that Rydia and Yon aren't, like, about to die. Although I think we're pretty much safe at this point. Thank you, Rosa. Silent Stabs. Really heckin' good. And we can get underground now! Great, okay, I'm still gonna take on Ogopogo, I think. Um, what don't I need? We don't need poison arrows. We don't need Medusa arrows. Um, whoop. I'm gonna hold on to the lit arrows, cause yeah, no. Oh my gosh, we can get underground. I still think it's worth taking on Ribbon Room while I'm here. But we're gonna do Ribbon Room and then bail, and go straight underground because. That's our underground access. Um, we want to change rows. We want to bring Porum into the back row, and we want to put Yong in the front row here. Yeah, Magma Key is humongous for this party. That, that or just in general, that is so good. Oh my gosh. I still think I'd give Ogo a try, though. We're gonna start with Blinks. Then we'll get the Berserk and the Anyang and the Cure 4. Well, Cure 4 will come out next, actually. No, we'll go for Asura. I have Asura. You power. Rydia will go cast Asura. Good. Blink. Come on, Asura. Thank you, Asura. 3200 damage. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and Berserk Young now. Rydia doesn't matter as much. Rydia gets experience no matter what, so... I don't really care about keeping her up. We just want Young to go burr. I mean, I will give her a blink if I have time. Which I do. And now it's just kind of hang out. And let Yong do the damage. 
Thank you, Asura. Blink herself. Yang's gonna keep doing this 2,000 at a time. Only 21 hits. That's not so bad. Just go for your cure 4. Still strong enough, and I'm not really scared. Thank you, Young. Keep hitting, please. Eventually you will go away. Thanks, Asura. I don't really need to heal anyway. Guess you throw something at Yong. Yong could use it. Forum doesn't have anything better than Cure 2, so, so this is just going to be a little bit of health. down to... I mean, this is the 50%, but we're all over 50%, so it's fine. I'm gonna follow it up with an Asura, though. Just because Yong is kind of low. Okay, Asura failed. Cool. That's fine. 1600, Yong, really? You better. Okay, 1800 is a little better. 2400 is a lot better. Good. Thank you, Rydia. That'll bring Yang back up to full. There we go, Ogo is dead. Great. Take the extra 100,000 experience. There's Cure 3 for Porum. Jeez, we have so many levels. Already. Why not? I think that's gonna be good enough. I may do Zop before I go underground, just for the character checks. Because I do still need a fifth party member. So I think it might be worth doing that first. But, you know, I may I figure I may as well stay on the moon a little bit longer, grab that earth crystal, we'll chase it, and then we'll go underground. Odin and DKC can uh, stay on the moon forever for all I care. I am not dealing with them. Uh, let's bring our battle speed back up. They don't need low battle speed anymore. We're already in the 40s of levels, like, and we still have a giant to do. We will be fine, level-wise. I'm not worried about levels anymore. Um, I still have a boss hunt, and I never checked Mist Cave. Let's check this real quick. Real quick. Just gonna dip my head in. Because we still don't know where Kainazo is. Cute. That is a blark. That's just a blark. Not a witch burden, just a blark. 
But that's very nice. I'm glad that that's not somewhere worse. Treasury is a waste of time. Uh, it's T standard effectively, so I am not going to loot the treasury. We're not going to do that. We're just going to go right up Zot. Get me these characters, please. And the key item check. And then we're going to go to Dwarf and do that. And then after that, I get to make fun decisions. Honestly, probably I just beat up the Fey March. After that, we probably just go straight to the Fey March and blow it up. I mean, I have to take one of the characters from either Zot or Dwarf. Uh, who do I want? Edge? Yes. Cecil, maybe. Would be fine. I think I hold out if I don't see if I don't see Edge here. Edge is my ideal final character with Masa with Masa Full Moon in my inventory. I think Edge is my ideal fifth. Cecil would be fine with a lightsaber. Kane would be okay with a gun near. Oh my gosh, I get to bust out my Ice Claw. You're too fast. I need to swap weapons. Let's go, Ice Claw. Well, that was a boss. Turns out having an Ice Claw, pretty good. Okay, Yong is, once again, not who I am looking for. I took one Yong, because I wanted to have- I needed a character to get me through the early game. Sort of. Did I even? I mean, I didn't even need to take this first Yong, but this first Yong has been great. But I don't really feel like I need to take more Yongs. I only have two Cat Claws. And one Yong can make use of both of those just fine. I also don't really want another Rosa. I, I have enough White Mages. So I think we just take the Dwarf Castle character, unless it's Sid. And if it's Sid, I go back and take a second Yong. Because, <laughs> heck, Sid. Or Edward, I guess. I might not take Edward there. Typo guards are not going to last very long here. We did the Baron guards, right? Yeah, the Baron guards were... No, that was the other seed. Never mind, we didn't do the Baron guards this seed. Yeah, Silk from the back one, please. Thank you. Now I'm just keep beating things up. I don't know if Ray's Rose is even going to hit, but... Right. Y you hit once. Okay. Silk again. Thank you, Porum. Radia, take more HP. I would like to get full experience here, I guess. I don't know. I guess Porum kind of needs some levels still, but not this desperately. Yeah, Yong levels up. That's nice. Okay, Zot is done. Now let's go underground and do... That. Oh boy, Twin Harp. Um, do I chase? I do chase, actually. Yeah, let's let's chase it. Let's just get it done.
I kind of am committing to this gamble that, of taking Ogopogo while I was up on the moon. We're gonna commit. We're gonna completely commit. I definitely can't magnetize everyone, so there's no point in trying. I don't think I have a single piece of gear that can magnetize Yong right now. Yeah, we'll just go right into Cape Magnus. Deal with Cape Magnus. Then we'll go underground. But I may as well chase this chain down. Looking for a tower key, looking for a character which could be at package or hook or giant at this point. Those are the only characters left. Looking for a boss, which could be down here. Could be anywhere. There's a lot of places. And then we have to complete the giant. I'm not going to do giant until I get the tower key, because the, the tower key cannot be behind the giant. Uh, other than that, we're just looking for that. I can Once I get that, I can go to the giant. So I'd like to have 10 key items first, and a full party. Which is why I'm going to prioritize this, since I'm on the overworld, and then dwarf castle once I get underground. Okay, Dark Elf. Go ahead, do your thing. Yep, you're gonna do your three spells. Oh no. And Rosa and Porim completely dodge the weak. Despite having heroin robes equipped. Maybe because they have heroin robes equipped, I don't know. Come on, Bob. Bill's not gonna do anything. Why did I even do that? Thanks, Young, for me not making me sit through that explosion. Okay, mom bomb's done. No more mom bomb. I mean, it's not worth it, but I'll take it. I will. I will keep it at this point. Wasn't worth making the check for, but sure. I'll take the pass for music. We're at nine key items, so Dwarf Castle's next, because I want the character. And hopefully it gets me a tenth key item, if not, there's freebies in the underground. We need the tower key anyway, so... Getting the tower key will be my tenth. For sure. And I can clear the giant with ten key items, and hopefully a, fi a fifth party member. I mean, I can do it with a fifth party member, I can go back for a young at any point. Okay, here's my magma key. I'm going underground now.
Are we going fast today? Absolutely not. This has been very slow. It's been over an hour since... It's been almost an hour and a half since I've completed an objective. I just want to shout that out. We did three objectives at like the 20 minute mark. And then haven't done another objective since. But we're finally underground. We're going to do Dwarf Castle immediately, because Dwarf Castle is not bad. It's really easy at this point. And it's a character. Give me more options, please. Someone who's not one of the five characters that exists. I know it's C maybe distinct eight or whatever it is. Yeah, distinct maybe distinct eight. Like, I acknowledge that. But still. Give me another character. Okay. Found the elements. Cool. Boom, they're gone. That doesn't count as my Kenazo though. We saw Kenazo! We beat him! But he was part of the four El four beans fight, so it doesn't count. Yay. Okay, Sparkle. It's a yawn. I'm gonna still say no for now. At this point, I'm grabbing the last character right before the giant, and not a moment sooner. Like, unless I get someone really good. But honestly, a Yong slingshotted with giant experience should be plenty strong. So I'm, I don't really care. Oh, come on. You were so close. Yong. So close to a one-shot. Get rid of that plague. Uh, Ogo is gone as well. Warp glitch is off, but this is still a check. And we did- it was two bosses. You know, two chances to find Kainazo. We're still looking for Kainazo. He's somewhere. What are you going to give me? Crystal Ring. Cool. Okay. I mean, it's useful. It's not bad. Objectively. Objectively not a bad item. Day March. Let's go. Maybe you'll have my progression. I'm not doing Keyless Tower right now. Uh, actually, maybe? Maybe I should. After Fey March bosses, it's really Keyless Tower or Sheila 1, or the Garbage Moon bosses that I hate and don't want to deal with. So we'd probably just do Keyless Tower. After Fey March and Fey March bosses, though. Never mind, we go pan first. I will happily chase a pan over Kiwis Tower. Uh, yes, Elixir. Uh, sure, tent. We are gonna try and take on the bosses now. Uh, I may not take them both on if one of them is really bad. But it's not like DKC is down here. I 
are some pretty nasty things that could be here, though. Um, oh, hi, Kinazo. Okay, um... I do have Thor Rages. Good. We found our Kinazo. Wonderful. That's fine. Uh, the storage should be properly buffered into. We're gonna queue a Berserk on Yong, the storage should come out, and then Yong should be going Burr. And Yong is gonna do lots of damage with the Ice Claw. Pretty, I'm gonna have you go for Ice 3. Dang it. Uh, we did not get a turn fast enough. Jeez, this spot is fast. I still want to nerf the wave, even if we're gonna take this one. Pretty is gone. Let's undo that. Young, keep doing like huge damage. Uh, pour him down. Oh dear. Everyone else will be fine, at least for a wave. Although we do more damage when the waves are gone, so we should dispel it. We should survive this wave, at least. Yeah, we're gonna get the, let the wave fire before... gets up. Okay. Okay, Kinaz is done. Great. Wonderful. No more Kinazo. We have defeated Kinazo. Finally, a fourth objective. Mylon and Z is also not scary at all. So, we're gonna be able to clear this Fae March, no problem. I'm just gonna go back and save, and then we can dive into my one Z. Uh, we don't want Ice Claw, we want Fire Claw. For Young. And then we can throw some healing spells out, I guess, with the Forum and Ryosa, I guess. Pretty does have Leviathan now. I guess she learned that from Dwarf. That's not bad. Or she can just cast Fire Threes, that's probably more worth it. Oh, we need to Blink, right. Blink's is gonna be Rosa and Rydia's priority. Or Rosa and Form's priority. Yes, my onesie, we know. You want me to fall flat into the deep ravine? Kind of already at the bottom of the ravine, If you, in case you didn't notice. Yeah, Rosa and Form, stay safe. Now, you fire three. I do appreciate that we learned the level three elemental spells before we learned the level two elemental spells. Viridia. He uses me. Boom, that's your quad nine. Not quite. Okay. Okay. Let Young go burr. Let Young keep destroying my onesie.
There we go. Goodbye, my onesie. Never worried. Easy fight. And it's not worth anything, but it was an easy fight. I mean, I'll keep the defense sword, I suppose. Uh, I probably won't need the heal pot. If I do, we can buy more. I'm definitely not going to use the Lunar Staff. I have so many Silent Staves, and Silent Staves are purely better. Okay, Self Cave. We got a pan, so I would definitely like to chase this pan and see what comes out of it. Only characters are left are Hook, Package, and Giant for our Sid objective. But that's okay. I don't care about actually getting the Sid. I don't want to actually recruit him, but so I'm fine if he's. I would be quite happy to have Sid be at the back of the giant. A crystal sword! Thanks, Sylphs! Sure. Now I really want Cecil. Cecil is now better than Edge. If he's in the seed at all. I don't know. There's only. Two more. There's only two more characters in the seed, maximum. Because there's only two. Uh, there's three three spots, and one of them has to be a Sid, which is a duplicate of our second character. Who I of course said no to. Okay. Sheila, what are your two items? Please give me your stuff. want to know what you have. Ukaki. Okay. Uh, we don't need the lightsaber anymore. And the hook. Hook is a character check, so I'm going to do that right away. I don't care about the boss, but I do care about the character. Uh, the Ukaki is another key item check. So that is also valuable. Just because it means I... It's another thing to do to look for my tower key. That's not going back to the moon and dealing with the nastiness that's on the moon. Oh, Hook is also a key item check in the form of the Rat Tail Turn-In. So we will trade my I will trade my tails. No reason not to trade these tails. Let's get the key item. Get the tier 7 item. Or tier 7 8 item off the pink tail. Not gonna be an adamant armor. That's go mode. Probably. Probably go mode. So I don't need to check sealed cave at all. X cal. Don't really care about the X cal. The tower key gets. I probably won't need to check extra things. Unless Sid is. Oh, that puts pressure on me. We're going to check the hook character, because I want to check to see if it's a valuable character. If I don't care about the hook character, we grab a young and we do giant right now. And then hoping that Sid is there, because at that point it'll be a 50-50 if Sid's not down here. That Sid, Sid is either up in the giant or he's at the package. And then we do the giant. If I get Sid, I great I do straight super cannon. If I don't get Sid, I do tower. Full tower, probably. Just to be safe. Either way, we're going down here to get to see if who this character is. I take literally anyone that's new except Edward. I mean, I'll take him. I'll take you for the objective, but I do not care. Dark Elf is not going to be fought this seed. We are not going to take. 
this Sid. We are in go mode, though. So I'm going to go grab a Yong from the Tower of Wishes. Because I think that's going to be better overall. And we're going to try and slingshot him in the giant. No, Sid cannot join. But we have completed that objective. That's off the list. Good. I guess there's a slight chance the super cannon is the package, but I don't think I care. I really don't think I care. I think we just grab a young and go. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab a young and go. We've got the pass, so it'll be relatively quick. It's not see by. I did check that. So we've got tons of Yongs to choose from. I'll take this one. His name is Range. I'll give you one Cat Claw. And Karate Gi. And that's all you get. But with what I have, that's going to be the best damage uh, for what I've got. Other Young can stick with his one Cat Claw. I'm going to leave the Fire Claw on, actually, just so it's on. I don't know. I think I'm happy with this party. Let's go blow up the Giant. New Young should get slingshotted on both bosses, I think. Maybe not the second boss, but definitely the first. Which means this new Young, this fresh Young is going to get at least 700,000 experience. Well, depending on split bosses. But hopefully 700,000 experience, maybe even a million experience would be lovely. I would love to give him a million experience and just shoot him up into the 50s. That would be wonderful. But even if he's in the 40s, that's okay. And we're going to be just zerking our way through Zeromus, I think. No Odin or DKC to worry about here, in the giant. So that's really nice. We don't have to deal with them. We don't have Wyvern to deal with. No free Baron Guards is probably one of the worst things that could be here. That or maybe D-Lunars. Nah, D-Lunars are fine. I'm trying to think of worst case scenarios, and there's not a lot of really bad ones here at this point in the seed. Like, DKC and Odin are really the big scary things that could be here, and they're both on the moon in non-required locations. D-Lunars is fine. Uh, I've got Fire Claws galore. I can Fire Claw both of my Yongs, Power Punch, be patient. It's a lot of hit, hit points, but that's okay. I'm gonna throw up blinks, uh, at least for you. Get a double slow going. We are gonna have to heal from this, and then we need to put up some walls. Thank you, Rydia. You can power punch too. Uh, we'll throw a wall on you, you're really important. You do not have wall yet, so you can blink other people. White Mage is walled first. Next person I want walled is Yong. 
the good young, not the bad young. Bad young, I don't really care. We're gonna do quad nines there, good. We're getting some good damage done early as well, which is nice. We can't blink you, we can't blink you, so you are officially secure threeing. Fine. Boom, 2000 damage, good. Also needs a wall. Uh, we'll wall up lower level Yong now. Or not. Oh, Rydia Rose's wall wore off. Heck. Did not think Rose's wall would wear off. We need to gently hit this uh, front dealer. And then focus fire the back one. Yeah, you get Rosa back on our side. That is very important. We also need to heal Rydia. Okay. Yeah, I would like Rydia to stop doing that. We have time because the viruses aren't very strong here. But we need to focus the fire the back view winner now. Yeah. Rydia, we need you back so you can cast fire three. Uh, other Yong can sit there for all I care. I really don't care. That D-Lunar is just going to do uh, work on the frog. So we're just going to go all out, try and do as much damage as we can to this D-Lunar here. Yeah. Here we go. Oh no, our blinks are being destroyed. Whatever. Shall we do? There's so much health. At least that means the other D-Winner has a lot of health too. Yeah, you should be dead now. Great. Now the frog is going to start dying. Okay, just Berserk Yang now. And I really don't care about what that other Yang does. He's just a frog. He's just gonna stand there with all the status ailments. He was not relevant. 205,000 experience, there's white on Rosa. Porm gets 9 levels, so she gets wall cure 4. Three levels for Rydia, stone weak. New Yong gets 31 levels, and old Yong gets 3 levels. I think Yong is still in slingshot range. I think our new Yong is still slingshotable, which is amazing. That is what I wanted. He's level 41, everyone else is 48, 49. Yeah, new Yong is still in slingshot range. We just, sling, we just slung him off 200,000 experience. He's still slingshotable, so we're going to sling him off another 300,000 experience. And that fight went so well. Okay. We'll probably get Porum up to white from this fight as well. Rydia might, Rydia's probably close enough to nuke that she'll learn it from here too. We're going to have all the spells. All the big spells. No free Baron Guards! Fun.
We don't have nuke yet. That's fine. Not ideal, but fine. And double slow them, just to reduce their punches, because this bot punch is really hard. Uh, that's not ideal, but it's okay. Uh, Rip Rydia. You get her back up. Or blinking aggressively. That's what we need to do here. We need to blink very aggressively. Power punches are fine. Uh, I'd like to heal that pig, but I don't know that I'm going to be up to. You're fine. Are you safe? You're gonna be, we're gonna protect you. We're not. Heck. You back up. Leviathan. Do a bunch of damage, please. Good, that's... Quite a bit of damage, that was worth it. And you don't counter summons, amazing. They don't think about countering summons with Piggy. Screw you! Oh my gosh, guards, let me keep that Yong up. You're gonna get Leviathan again. I'm gonna Power Punch you again. Then we're just gonna queue up... I need to blink. No, I don't need to blink, Rosa. Goes in the back row, and she's got most of her health. She'll be okay. One of you is down. Okay, we need to revive. Blink. Okay. Fine. That's okay. Everyone gets the experience. Good. Rose's form's got white. Redia has nuke. New Yong gets 10 levels, so he's level 51. Great. We are ready for Zeromus. Giant of Babel is done. All we have left to do is the super cannon. And then we are actually done. Right, there was no character in the giant. I forgot about that. It was classic giant. So there was no giant character at all. That's okay. So yeah, the only way there was another character was if there was another character at package, which I don't feel like looking for. That could be behind one of the bad bosses on the moon, or it could be in the tower, or a sealed cave. There's a few places. We're not going to look for it. We're just going to do a super cannon and then fight Zeromus. I, yeah, I did not save. I should not need to save. I should have all of the power I need to destroy the super cannon room. At this point. None of the bosses in, that could be there scare me. Uh, Z fight's gonna be Zerk up the two Yongs basically, and keep them alive, and I think that's the whole fight. Maybe I'll throw a bail up or something to support with Reflex, but... Oh no, not Leviathan! Whatever will I do without, without Leviathan? Honestly, Rosa might be strong enough here to knock this out. Yeah. Rosa does enough damage to finish the fight. Amazing. Okay, that'll be the crystal. Boom, super cannon room's done. Yep. All the objectives complete. Give me my crystal. 
Here we go, we can go fight Zeromus now. Get out of here. Let's go. We gotta beat- we got a final boss to beat. I have no idea what Rydia's agility is. It's probably terrible right now. I'm gonna check it, actually. 25. I could give her the crystal ring. Not the worst idea in the world. Do I care that much? No, we're all faster. Everyone else is faster than she is. So I don't think I care. Both Yongs are faster. Um... they each have a cat claw, right? So they're all, they're gonna have 33 agility. Well, one of them has 38 agility, the other has 33. Uh, the Quorum and Rid Rosa are absolutely faster because I'm not taking their heroin robes off. They're gonna keep their robes on to be really fast. I guess it's probably worth giving her the crystal ring because she'll still be, uh, yeah. It's worth giving her the crystal ring, I think. As long as that doesn't remove mold. No, it doesn't remove a multiplier. I was like, let me do math real quick. No, no multiplier lost there. So we'll crystal ring Rydia, uh, just to bring her up to the requisite amount. Rydia, you don't need a black belt. Why do you have a black belt? I can't believe it. You're hogging that black belt. Yong could use that. Yong would like that. You can have the karate gi, I guess, but yeah, no, you don't need that. Give Yong the strength. You do not need a black belt, Rydia. Okay. We should be fine. This is a 20, a 30 agility anchor uh, with everyone else having much more agility. I think I will want to swap these two though, uh, just for turn order shen uh, shenanigans. I mean, the whites from Rydia, from Purim and Rid Rosa aren't going to be that much. We may not even bother doing reflect stuff. I might reflect stuff off Rydia, but meh. Probably more useful to keep her alive and have her cast a Sura. Let's do this Z fight. Let's do that. Dirk this young, because the other young is going to get a turn. Do I have a Bacchus? I feel like I have one Bacchus wine. I don't know that I do. Okay. Hello. Quick inventory span confirms I do not have one Bacchus wine. Don't think I saw a Silk Live in there either. We're gonna nerf with a nuke. Fine, we're gonna get the nerf. You, Berserk there. 8,000 damage is pretty good, plus we get the nerf. Rydia eats the nuke, that is okay with me. She can go down. That'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, we have both Young zerked up. Punching away for a couple thousand damage around. Yeah, that's gonna take Rydia down. Uh, we'll probably pop her back up. She will be useful. Yeah, let's 
pop Rydia up. Tier 3 is probably strong enough to get her back up to a decent amount of hit points. Yeah. Let's put a Veil on her. We're going to start reflecting some slows if I can. No silk web, so we're gonna just cast the slows manually. You actually, if I go now, should nerf with this nuke, so I will do that. We're gonna get the two slows. Air double slowed. The Yong should buffer. Now as Aromas has his cues the action. Nuke. This should either be in this should nerf unless we tipped. Which we might have tipped. But it doesn't matter because you tried to counter nuke onto Rydia herself, so it's just damage. So we don't actually get any penalty for doing that. For trying that. Let's try for a white from Porum. We did tip successfully. So we're going to let our white mages charge up some holy spells. And Rydia, you can go for another nuke. But this time we're going to reflect, because there's no reason to trigger extra counters. Especially not from whites. Okay, there's a shake. I don't think we're going to get a nerf on this one, but that's okay. We should be fine. We're getting... We've definitely already tipped. We're getting some big spells out here. We're gonna get another couple of attacks from the Yongs as well. We probably take this Big Bang and then don't take another one. And Rosa should survive at the very least. And both Yongs. Oh, we get another round. Nice. Another round of punches. Good. Big bang. Survive. What do I want you to do? Got to nuke. Forum barely survived, but does survive long enough to cure for herself a little bit, which is good. That's fine. Should be good. We shouldn't see another big bang. I don't think we're going to see another Big Bang. Nope, we're not. Rydia, can you dodge the rocks? Rydia can dodge the rocks. Thank you, that's the only person I needed to dodge the rocks. Literally the only person who mattered. Dodge the rocks. Everyone else didn't matter. Hooray, we're done. Thirty-five, thirty-seven. Thanks to the GG's, Marcus Ocar. Okay, I probably am very slow. Yeah, half an hour behind Wylam, that's, that's fine.
Okay. I'm gonna let the spoiler log play out just so y'all can see where everything was, and I kind of want to know where the package was. I have not been paying attention though, so I may have missed it already. I mean, it was either Sealed Cave, Top of Tower, or one of the last couple boss spots. Alright, we did get the Luka Key. That was off of Sheila. This is what I get for not, like, looking at the uh, log as it's playing. Could have been on the moon. I think I missed the package early in the spoiler log. That's okay. Unless it's about to come up. Okay, no, it's it's about to come up because we saw Spoon and Adam and already. Package was at top of tower the whole time. Okay. See, so yeah, if I hadn't gone, I still wouldn't have had to do sealed cave then. There was no way I was doing sealed cave because I would have seen that. If Sid hadn't been at the hook route, I would have still gone. That was my next check. I would have routed that in. Okay, let's rate the treasury for funsies, and then we will check the music again and get some more music, and then we will call it a stream, I think. This has been fun. But I gotta get dinner, and then I'm multi-worlding apparently tonight, so I'm gonna go do that instead. Look at this garbage in the treasury. Look at all that garbage. Okay, the Karate Gi is maybe marginally useful. Same with the Gaia hat and the life pot. The rest of that, absolute garbage. No one needs any of those things. We can leave them all behind. <laughs> 